this is one of the most successful tour I had uh, in the past few years, and certainly I am very thankful to the great Pittsburgh Symphony. And uh, I want to, you know, send lots of love back to Pittsburgh to keep supporting this amazing orchestra. I feel so proud to have that. Music. <laughs> Hang played to perfection and brought out so much of the emotion in the Mozart. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, very intense, wonderful performance. So far, so good. We're looking forward to getting started today um, after arriving. Most of us arrived the day before yesterday in the evening and uh, had yesterday off to sort of recover and, and uh, prepare for the start of the tour today. Uh, we're playing Larghetto by James McMillan, and it features solo cantor parts, um, and uh, we'll be playing uh, the solo parts by trombone, horn, me on trumpet, and English horn. And Manfred Honick had the idea uh, last week that we uh, move the solo, three of the solo parts, up into the balcony area. And so we tried it out in Pittsburgh at home, and it really worked well. The, the sound just sort of floats from above. The German classical music market, as you can say, is, I think, well, we're very proud and very unique that so many people love classical music and go to concerts, actually. The Bruckner Delium for sure is one of the most favorite pieces of the choir because it's a very deep uh, work, uh, very re religious work and has the, sh the choir can show a lot of quality in the high region of dynamic and low region of dynamic in the high tessitura and everywhere and deep feeling. So we like to present this work and it was a joy uh, to present it together with your fantastic orchestra. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, you know, this place seems so magical. I think the moment we came to the stage this morning for rehearsal, for dress rehearsal, um, we just absorbed the history and, and the culture and, and the, the dedication to, to music here. Um, yeah, and, and it's such a friendly and enthusiastic audience. And, you know, they, they know so much. I'm sure they've seen so many concerts and it's such a, it's, it's really a privilege to be playing for them tonight. 2008 was the last time that the orchestra was here. Uh, I think it was then conducted by Marek Janowski. So that was um, 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. So it was about time, we thought, that we uh, invite the Pittsburgh back here in the hall uh, because uh, we were sure that the Amsterdam audience uh, would like to hear them again. And uh, well, I, I have no regrets, I must say, because it was really terrific, this first half we just heard. Really impressive, wonderful orchestra, beautiful colors, really loved it. We're gonna get run over by a truck. By a truck. Right, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna shift this. We're gonna shift. <laughs> okay, this is one of the most spectacular concert halls in the world, and to hear my home orchestra, this is the closest I've been to home since late August, which is when I moved here, to hear a couple of my favorite pieces in the, the lowest of the softest dynamics to the loudest of, oh man, I need to plug my ears. It's just, <laughs> and it's just so beautiful and so rich, and I love it. I'm so happy I got to come tonight some of the most beautiful, amazing uh, concert halls in all of Europe. A few that I've performed in and several that I haven't that were amazing. Uh, 
It's been a wonderful time. Is it important for American orchestras to come over? Do you think they uh, make a splash when you read the reviews of the newspaper? Of course, of course. Always. I think it's interesting for the Europeans to see and hear what the Americans can do. I mean, it's always a different type of thing uh, from the traditions that the Europeans have. So I think that's why your concerts are always visited very well. You see it here in the spectacular hall. A fantastic concert. I mean, Manfred Honig and our musicians are just unbelievably good. For me, it was the first time that I could come into the big hall and I'm overwhelmed. Tonight, I'm really proud of our orchestra that yes. they were such splendid ambassadors yeah. for our lovely city. Here is very modern. It's interesting because we get to listen to the classic music, which is beautiful in such an intricate space. I think uh, it's really nice to see like how engaged the audience is here, especially because it's not um, a French orchestra or like a European orchestra. So it's nice to see that the audience is uh, into it, even though they're uh, an orchestra from the states. Yeah, I saw that the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra was going to be performing here in Paris, so I thought it'd be great to have a little piece of home here since I'm studying in Paris, and it's just really cool to have my two worlds collide. As musicians, we can we can inform, we can emote, we can um, bring people together. It lets us speak in ways that words don't, and that's for me, and I think for for musicians like like the musicians of PSO is is such an important thing, and the message that they're bringing on tour with them um, to many cities in Europe with this powerful music. I'm the Deputy Ambassador at the U.S. Embassy. This is my wife, uh, Alemka, and so we're very honored to represent the United States uh, here in Belgium and really delighted to see this concert uh, tonight. I think it's a wonderful reminder uh, to people here of the breadth of culture in the United States, and so it was really nice to see. Well, tonight, we in Brussels are the lucky ones, and too bad for Pittsburgh that the Pittsburgh Symphony isn't there. <laughs> it was a phenomenal concert. It was just an yeah. absolutely phenomenal concert. I mean, it was so varied. It was, uh, it was, it just played up and down all the emotions, and so wonderfully all together. Uh, it really made the heart sing of the audience, and I think that came through in the feedback uh, by the way of clapping and enthusiasm, and the energy also in the audience that was felt just, just as in the orchestra. Really, just uh, wonderful. So please come back. <laughs> So I'm music director in Bozar, and of course, I invited the orchestra. Why? Because it's one of the best orchestras in the world. And it's not the first time that they come, and Manfred Honig is sort of a very stable, fabulous conductor, joining perfectly with the orchestra's specific sounds in the, in, in the, in the brass section and in the winds. The Ninth Symphony, yeah. It was. That is a monumental piece for the brass, that's for sure. It's really fun to do with Manfred. It's very. It's important to Manfred, Bruckner, and to have to get the opportunity to do it with him, perform Bruckner with him, is really a privilege. We've both been in the orchestra 30 years, 29 or 30 years, so that's a lot of touring and a lot of friendships made. I'm so proud of the orchestra and Manfred. Manfred said last night it was the most successful tour he's had with the PSO. The audiences were just astounded and uh, jumped to their feet. Multiple curtain calls. It was just really. I'm just so proud of the orchestra. And how often do you get out to concerts here at the Tonhalle? 
Uh, I come about once a quarter. Uh, whenever an American group comes through, I usually try to come and, and, and hear them perform. So how did Pittsburgh compare with the other groups you've heard? Well, that's like picking your favorite child. This was an incredible night. Uh, they really did an, a fabulous performance. I think you saw the enthusiasm of the crowd at the end. It really um, spoke to uh, how they moved everybody with their music today. I'm so blessed that we uh, had such a wonderful success in each city. Different halls, but the orchestra adjusted so wonderfully and uh, the playing was enormous emotional. I'm really happy uh, to be music director of the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra.